Hello out there, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the air, and welcome to Stoneham Marina in Stoneham, Massachusetts, home of the Spartans, and today, home of a big EHF Black Division matchup between the Vipers Hockey Club and the Manchester Flames. Flames were bearing, wearing white when the puck drops, they'll be coming from left to right. Vipers are wearing the teal San Jose Sharks-esque jerseys, they'll be going from right to left. These teams met uh, two weeks ago. Uh, up at the JFK Coliseum in Manchester. Vipers took that game. Uh, big victory for them and a very close one and a very scrappy game, shall we say, between the two teams. Uh, looks like we're ready to go here. We are just about to the left of the red line. Here at historic Stoneham Marina, home of Hockey Night in Boston for quite a while. Some of some huge, uh, huge Massachusetts High School hockey games, and we got Pee Wee action coming to you live here today on our NBC Sports. The referee is ready. They check with both goaltenders. Harry Dermody set to take this face off against Jewel, and Jewel won it. Spinning right across the red line. He comes in over the blue. Murphy now has his puck, pins it right off the boards. This is Maurice, touch and go. Now it's Dermody. Fysix on the right. Harry Dermody takes a look behind him. Finds Sam Maurice, the late trailer. Maurice running into some trouble. Back in for Dermody. Spinning. This couldn't tap one on goal from the side there. Pushed on up the boards by the teal. Nice little toe drag there. Moved by Jewel. Trudel now will push in and across the blue line. Murphy cycling back. Uh, Waiting for an option, looking for Maurice. Pass got intercepted the line, right back to Murphy. He'll just pepper one out right through neutral territory. It's gonna go all the way down. And we'll have an icing here early. Uh, 40 seconds, 39 seconds to be exact. Uh, into this hockey game. Uh, so Marina also home of Olympic medalist figure skater Nancy Kerrigan. We can see her banner off to our right. Uh, when the puck goes down to the Vipers end. Legendary figure skater in American lore, of course. Uh, I don't want to go into a, uh, a long talk about that, so because <laughs> we got some action here, but I'm not I'm not too caught up on my figure skating. This is Folsom now coming in, so I don't want to pretend like I know a lot about figure skating. Because make no mistake, I don't. This puck gets by <laughs> you both, Gronwald and. Pelletier, it's gonna roll all the way in on goal where Tristan Kerr covers up. Already a little bit of bumping in front of the net. Uh, face off will come to the left side. Here with 13.55 on the clock. Uh, that's one of the things you have to do in broadcasting. You gotta know stuff, but you can't pretend to know stuff that you don't. <laughs> I like to be honest about that. Uh, Sweeping in front of the cage now, this is Grumball cutting across and moving out right side. Right in front of us, Elliot Grumball through the red line and into the offensive zone. Got all tied up, popped back over the stick of Alex Pelletier. Tracking back now is Brian Riccio from Manchester. Riccio pressured hard by McGonagall. McGonagall forced to puck to the corner before it's pushed up the boards. Uh, in front of the Flames bench now, the Vipers work it in the deep. Uh, Grumwald. Uh, Right behind Kerr's cage now, up the boards. This is Riccio, can he clear the zone? Great forecheck here by the Vipers, although Riccio will get it. There's a piece of a mouth guard on the ice right now, I believe, right by that face-off dot. Uh, this is McGonagall in the middle. Uh, good poke by Gromwell to get it to the corner. Casey's on it first. Pelletier was there too. Shoved it to the opposite corner where Maurice has it. Uh, I'm gonna dangle his way out. Nice lead pass up and ahead. Zachary Baker cleared the zone. Uh, Pushed back in on the stick of Casey, but he was already inside the blue line. So we have an offside here. Uh, and a stoppage. Both teams will make changes uh, as uh, the owner of that mouth guard is Kobienko in front of the Vipers bench. She'll pick it up. Uh, it's always one of the more interesting sights in Pee Wee hockey. And here's a shot coming through, and her will make the one stop. Uh, on occasion, you'll see mouth guards fly out onto the ice in any hockey game. Uh, Dermody and Jewel again on the faceoff. And Jewel is two for two against Dermody, but the Manchester Flames have the puck. And Fysik will bring it in on the right side. Taking a look around. This is Jaden Fysik. Forced to the corner. Still going center to back in front. It just missed everyone. Uh, there was really no one in the slot but Murphy. And it missed Liam Murphy on the far point. Uh, Murphy tried to cycle it back. Maurice fell down. Pushed in by the Vipers. Jewel is up there. Got by Murphy. Hemingway goes to the net for the Flames as Jewel has it in the deep. Uh, Jewel. Uh, 
Looking to push it back to the point. Feisty got his stick in the lane and then worked that puck up for Harry Dermody. Here comes Dermody. On to the right side. Dermody looking to get to the net. He shoots and scores! Harry Dermody! Didn't look like he was going to get by there for a second. He did get around and just pushed it in. Five hole on the Viper goaltender. It's one to nothing and looked like a bit of a harmless on the ice shot by Dermody. A good rush, but certainly looked like a stop of the puck and Dermody just found the hole and it's one nothing Manchester. Hopping up there on the four check, that's Caleb Young. Pelletier now stepping in from his defensive position to hold that puck at the line. Run it on in deep. Uh, Folsom's up there too for now for Manchester. Vipers pulled this puck off the wall. Three Manchester Flames are behind the puck. Grumball was one of them. He's got it now. Uh, or at least just picking it up now in front of us. Losing it. Uh, tapped off the boards by Cox. He looks to track it. Uh, up by the wall, Cox will shoot this puck in. Brian Folsom goes for it for Manchester. Vipers making changes, and the Flames are as well as this puck deep in their offensive zone. Not anymore, I suppose. Uh, lead pass to the blue line, couldn't connect. Uh, all the Vipers are in. I believe this is Casey near side. Dropping it off to the point, straight off the bench is Hilton. Couldn't get a shot. Now we got a goal. Uh, he can neither Casey up along the boards there. Taken into the corner. Young battling. Come close to the line. This is Hilton. His shot. I believe Hilton had a goal. No, he got sent off in the... Maybe it wasn't him. I'm not sure. There was a Viper player, though. A little bit of bad blood between the two teams. The Viper player that kicked Brian Folsom as he was down in front of the net on the lone goal by the Manchester Flames. And the game... Two Saturdays ago, uh, Logano in across the line. He's offside. Uh, but uh, someone kicked uh, Brian Folsom. It might have been Hilton. Who kicked Folsom uh, and was sent off from the hockey game. I don't want to be pointing fingers again. Again, I didn't know stuff. I probably should have done my research on that. My bad, folks. A little bit of a shortcoming there. <laughs> First game of the weekend, though. It's usually usually Sunday games are the better of the two games because, you know, I've settled in during the Saturday game. But, but of course, no Saturday game here for us on RNBC Sports. I had to take my SSATs, and this shot goes wide from Noah Bless on the far wall. He's back, uh, by the way. He's been out for a couple weeks with a concussion. Good to see him back on the ice. But, yeah, there was no broadcast yesterday. Uh, Preoccupied with my SSATs. I was bummed to miss the game, of course. Uh, it's a tie, 3-3 to the Junior Eagles. Now a chance. Here come the Vipers. Great save by Kerr with the left glove. Uh, rebound squirts loose now. This is Smithers. Uh, Fysik. Flames are able to get this puck out across their own blue line. And there's more. Here comes Fysik with Maurice going to the net. Fysik taking a look. Sending it back across it. I think it was a bounce pass off the goalie's pad. It just never made it to Maurice. Uh, Back out in neutral territory. Manchester cycles it around. Pelletier couldn't make his entrance. Dermody now dangles and moves in onside. This is Harry Dermody looking across. Maurice is open. Looks a backhand shot. And off the outside of the net there. And it's going to get caught up in the loose netting. And we'll a stoppage and a face-off coming up. 9.23 here. Still on the clock in period one. Uh, one nothing Flames. Here from Stoneham. Young on the face off. He pushed it ahead at the blue line. Vipers hop right on it. Defenseman Hilton moving up and moving in. Shot into the deep now. Elliot Cron balled up there. Casey was on the forecheck. He has it now for the Vipers. Look at the center. Right in the blue paint. Pelletier had a whack on it. And pushed it back to the corner where the Flames are able to dig it out. But not clear the zone. This is Hilton under pressure at the line. Kobienko stepping up. Jarring this puck free. Everyone going down. McGonagall spins it wide. Off the back of the goal. Now centered in front. Backhand shot. And I believe Kerr might have made a save there. Good little bounce pass off the backboard by McGonagall. Leading to a chance for the Vipers. Uh, hard for a goaltender to see that puck when it comes so hard off the back. Ball. Oh, here's a hard shot by Folsom with Cox standing in from center again. Young scores!
Caleb Young off a great centering feed from Nick Cox, and it's two to nothing Flames. Great shot from the line by Brian Folsom, and a good job there. Manchester had traffic in front and forced the goaltender to make a good save. That kind of set it up. The rebound went to the corner. Lewis Cox, who was standing in front of the shot, uh, he found Young, who was the second wave on that play. He put it home past the goaltender, and it's 2 to nothing here as Murphy spins back uh, for Manchester. Looking for some options. Baker's on the near side. Murphy carrying it himself. Getting around two now. Murphy on the line. Here's Baker. Just couldn't get a handle on the puck on that hard pass by Murphy. Riccio now digging for the puck behind the goal. Coming out to the half wards and chipping it back in deep. No one was there for Manchester. Baker now hustling down to get it. Uh, he's in a battle down low. He gets taken down. Uh, up to the boards now. Noah Bless. Uh, Held in by the Flames. This is Baker coming in right side. His man dropped his stick. Baker tried to throw it in front. Was blocked by a skate. Bucks knocked. So now it's going to get out. Harry Dermody came in trying to keep it in. He was hot off the bench in exchange for Noah Bless. Could not keep it in. And now he's got the puck, though, as Manchester cycles it around and moves it in. Straight back out, though. Here comes Allen in across the blue line. Hooked by Dermody. He's going to get a penalty for that. Hemingway touched the puck. No whistle blows there. But Fysik now will take it and the whistle blows. There's no real doubt about that one. Uh, Dermody had his stick in there holding onto the hands of the onrushing Viper player, which was Allen. Uh, first power play of the night, rather the morning, uh, on either side. Uh, And it belongs to the Vipers for five, fi ugh, 90 seconds, not 50 seconds. <laughs> Far from it. Uh, McCarthy had a shot, got blocked in the flames. They're going to get this out. Hacked off the stick of Maurice and down. Vipers will reset it. Still plenty of time left in this man advantage. Roughly about one minute to go. Uh, Moved up, nice stretch pass on the right side. The teal are in, but Hemingway coming back to steal that puck away. He's under some duress from behind. He gets hauled down, no penalty called. Up to the wards, and McCarthy will get things set up. Here's McCarthy, shot to the slot, still lingering there, and a shot right off the goalposts. Oh, goodness. Puck skating in a dangerous spot after the original shot by McCarthy never made it to the goal. And it was wrung off the goalpost by somebody, and now we got a chance here. It's a breakaway right in on Ned, and Kerr makes another great stop and holds on. Might have been Orlando. He was right in on the breakaway, and he might have had to shut off the post as well. He was in the vicinity. Good, Two good chances for the Vipers on this power play, and it's not over yet. Still 34 seconds left in it. Uh, Off the face-off, Casey touches it on back. This is Hilton. Across, defenseman wasn't there. Pushed on behind. This is McGonagall. Into the corner. That centering pass went off a leg. Out to the far point. McGonagall corralling it. He's forced to just take it back outside the zone and reset. McGonagall touches it back. Nice DDD pass there from Hilton. Eluded his defensive partner and went all the way back deeper into the zone. It's going to kill more time for the Flames. Six seconds left to go in the man advantage. Vipers unable to make their entry here as McGonagall stumbling with it. Uh, finally gets it in over the line and it's checked right back out. That's going to do it. Dermody out of the box and onto the bench in exchange for Cox. Uh, Kabienko centering pass right in the middle. Vipers are in. McGonagall will try the drag move. Does not go. Pushed up to the line. Hilton knocked Cox down. Back to the corner. This is Casey. Hilton now shunts it down. Murphy gloved it down and got knocked out as he was staring at the puck. Did not see the player. Flames to get it out to neutral territory. Vipers in the midst of a change right now. Dangerous change with the Flames having the puck in the offensive zone there. For a second, this is Jewel. Nice moves. Centered it for Trudel. Does not go, and here come the Flames. Three on, two rush if they hurry. Uh, Young decides to go to the bench as Smithers moves up and ahead. His shot wide. Goaltender might have got a blocker on it. I don't think he did, though. As a shot by Smithers just flooded off to the far side of the cage. This is Liam Murphy now. Back on defense. He'll push it over. Got lost in the skates. And Elliot crumbled on the far boards here. That's why we have this battle. And looks like the Vipers are going to come through with it. But it's Murphy stepping up and touching the puck over here. This is Cox. 
Cox across the blue line with Bless going to the net. This is Cox again. He centered top of the crease. It's there underneath the goaltender's pad. And we'll have a stoppage. Very close call with the goaltender in awkward position there. It's hard to trap that puck underneath a pad. As the Vipers goalie so did right there. Very close to being a 3-0 game here from Stoltenham. That line remains out there, with the exception of Cox. The Reds off to the bench, uh, off the face-off. Gromwald that's the space to shoot the puck. Uh, Orlando got in the lane, though, and prevented a shot from even coming. Uh, Hilton pitchforks one up to the line. Gromwald held it in and shoveled it right back in deep. Uh, this is Hilton again, dropping it off behind the net for his defensive partner. It looks like McCarthy to me. Uh, he'll rush it up uh, through center ice. Right. This is McCarthy. Checked there by Grombaugh, who knocked it free for Baker. Baker up the boards, it got by Hilton. Now it's a foot race between Hilton and Germany. Germany rushing ahead, checks Hilton into the boards, but it's Hilton that comes through with it, spinning to the middle. Nearly lost the puck to Maurice, and now Maurice bumps into the back of Hilton in the slot there. Moved across here, Allen will back at him right onto the stick of Leah Murphy who pushes it on ahead, Sam Maurice to free space, where Feisig finds it after some bounces. Here's Feisig, ain't it alone, and he just couldn't execute the final move. Taking the puck now to the corner is Feisig. Uh, hops through to the dots. Uh, Vipers coming up with it on the left side. Casey, uh, he'll take it even deeper. Casey looking to go to the net. Popped over Curran, right back on the stick of Casey again. There he is, on behind the net. They're looking to give and go back to the point for Chianca. Puck got intercepted there by Fisek. Swung it on ahead. Here's Harry Dermody coming in, looking for a shot. Blocked aside fearlessly there by Chianca. Casey. He's coming up and ahead. Crosses in the middle. This is Casey. Across. Scores! McGonagall! You can see that play developing for sure. Casey with a nice job to set it up in the middle and wide open over there was McGonagall in the right place at the right time. He fired it past the sliding Tristan Kerr. Just like that, the Flames lead is cut in half. It's two to one. Off the faceoff, shoved up to the boards. Cox intercepted the pass. Here comes Cox in on the right side. He's got two flames going to the net. Young was one of them. He got dumped. Comes back to the line. Here's Gronwald. A hard shot save is made. A big rebound. Pops loose to the boards. And now the Vipers the other way. We got some pace to this game. Trudel, he'll push it down in deep. And there was a Viper player in behind the defense. Icing was called. But Gronwald took his man down after the whistle blew. Doesn't look like there's going to be a penalty on the play. Only after the whistle blowed that Gromwald kind of got his stick in there. On the four-checker. Uh, very quick icing call, if you ask me. Looked like the Viper player was first to the dots. Nonetheless, Gromwald stepping into a shot. It was blocked aside. Didn't look like he got all of it. Thankfully enough for the players standing in front, or that would have hurt for sure. Waiting on goal from the center right by the Flames. Goalie well, gobbles it up and holds on for an offensive zone draw. Here coming up. Uh, 2.13 still to go here in period one. We've had quite a few whistles, actually. Uh, roughly three to four minutes of stoppage time by my count. Uh, off that face off right to the goal again it's loose on the pad Folsom was digging away for it referee blows the whistle uh, <laughs> only then does Folsom back off in the slightest <laughs> the good body for the Flames to have in front of the net Folsom can certainly cause some ruckus down in the paint uh, he's done it before on a regular basis is he usually parked there but when he is it can be effective. Back to the line again. Gronwald, another hard shot. Skims right along the ice and wide of the net. Uh, Gronwald's got that hard shot, and sometimes it gets blocked, sometimes it goes wide, and it's hard for it to get through again. First to the dot there. Looked like Viper's player was. We got another icing call, though. 
Referee making the icing call was all the way down by the Viper's cage. In that face-off circle, instead of the one, the linesman who's usually skating up with play. The back judge makes the call. Off that face-off, a little bit of jousting there involving Zachary Baker. On the left, this is Hilton. He's picking up some speed, moving those legs in on the right side. Hilton got past Murphy. Hilton shoots just wide. Hilton breaking the ankles of Liam Murphy there. Now the other way come the Flames. Baker tried to make the pass to Riccio. He was all caught up with the back checker. That was Hilton. So he just tipped it to the corner and will go fetch it himself. This is Riccio centering. Baker looking for some space. Touching it back to the line. There's Hemingway stepping in with a shot. It was deflected and blocked eventually. Allen's now in behind Hemingway. Lead pass up and ahead. Here comes Allen taking it to the corner. That centering pass was blocked by Murphy back into the deep. Bless uh, up to the half boards, right back where it came from now for Hemingway. Uh, Baker's the lead outlet inside the zone there, and he can't clear it. Uh, now he will in the second opportunity. Baker uh, pushing. Uh, nothing coming for him. Gianca moves it in. Murphy steals it right on back. Uh, dangerously right in front of his own crease there. Uh, luckily, there are no four checkers for the Vipers in front. Always a dangerous spot, spot to, to, to woo. <laughs> dangerous spot to pass the puck. <laughs> That's what I was looking for there. Dying moments here in the first period. Not really a tuck, tuck. <laughs> I can't speak this morning. Not really a tongue twister. <laughs> oh my goodness. 23. Let's let's put that behind us. <laughs> 23. Even left to go here in period one. <laughs> Gronwald rushing ahead. He had three yesterday. Uh, the hat trick in that no decision versus the Eagles. A tie, of course. I mean, no decision is more of a boxing term, I guess. Although I, I suppose you could use it in hockey and other sports too. Uh, we do have a decision here in the first and by that I mean we have a team with the lead it's the Flames 2-1 to one as we head to the second period stick around